I really want to learn to code, but I just don't know where to start. Perhaps I should talk to an expert. Enter. I've come to learn to code. So I'm really keen to get started. I Sit, don't... but there's no chair. On the floor. Okay, I'll sit on the floor then. Wait. So what do you know about coding? Well, nothing. That's why I'm here. That's not a good place to start. You have to be very, very clever to code. Are you very, very clever? Um... You don't look very, very clever. What language do you want to learn? What do you know of computer architecture? What about data structures and algorithms? Have you heard of a linked list, computer networks, databases, distributed systems? It's not just hello world, you know. Hello who? Hello? Hello, child. This is all wrong. Okay. We have to get you out of there. Yeah. Can I go ahead? Do it. So when you first start, it can feel a little bit like that. It can feel completely overwhelming. It can feel that you're in a world surrounded by experts and that you're an imposter and that you don't know what you're doing. And there is just so much to learn that you'll never be able to do it. You can and you will. You just need to do it the right way. Welcome, Giles. I've been expecting you. What is this place? And welcome to the Forest of Disenchantment. The Forest of Disenchantment? What am I doing here? Look, I just want to learn to code. You're going to be spending a long time here if you want to learn to code. But ignore the man in the bow tie. He's a coding snob. This is something that anyone can learn to do. It just takes time. I can show you the path, but it's up to you to follow it. Come with me. There's no doubt about it, this is a difficult skill to acquire, but I really believe that anyone can learn to do it but you do have to give it time. You're not gonna be able to do it in three weeks or four weeks or, or three months even. You're gonna to have to persevere, you know, do 10, 15, 20 minutes a day and know that this is gonna take you six, 12, 18 months, something like that. I can take you no further, but before I go, let me give you this advice. When you're learning to code or learning to program, it's not about learning a language. Yes, you have to learn a language in order to be able to program. But what you're really learning is the ability to take a problem and translate it into something that a computer can understand. Now that's universal. The ability to do that is universal. Obviously you need to be able to program in a particular language uh, when you're starting. So you have to learn a language, but the real skill you're learning thought process of breaking problems down into something that a computer can understand. That's the skill. Python is a very good place to start because it's a simple syntax and you don't have to worry about things like memory management. And it enables you to focus on that problem solving side. Once you've mastered that, you'll learn other languages very quickly indeed. Now, go on your way, find the resources that you need and learn. So you're going to start by learning Python. Other people will give you other suggestions, just ignore them. Learn Python to start with. There are several resources that I want to share with you. First of all, go to Green Tea Press. Green Tea Press is an independent publisher uh, which publishes some really good titles on computer programming. The one you're going to need to begin with, and I stress to begin with because there are other books that are, that are going to help you along this journey too, but the one you need to start with is Think Python. Download that for free go through it from the front cover to the back cover. Go through all the code examples, code them out yourself until you really understand how they work. Go through all of the uh, exercises at the end of each chapter. If you can't do them, look at the solution. Once you've looked at the solution, try to do the question again without looking at the solution and make sure that you understand every question and every answer at the end of each chapter. Once you've done that, you're in a very good position then to move to the next step. Once you've gone through Think Python, you will have reached a really good base level of proficiency, but you're not there yet. 
the next thing you need to learn about is data structures and algorithms. Knowledge of data structures and algorithms are crucial if you want to get a coding job, but they also make you a much better coder. You'll write much better programs, have a much deeper understanding of how your code works, and also know whether you're solving problems in the most optimal way. I've linked to the Udacity course on data structures and algorithms, and uh, make sure you Google as well uh, data structures and algorithms uh, in Python, and some useful resources will come up there too. Now, as you're working through all of these materials, I want you also to check out Project Euler, where there are some useful coding challenges that will definitely help you hone your skills. Once you get about halfway through the Think Python book, you need to start working on your own projects. And by the time you've reached that point, you will probably have a good idea of what sort of project you want to work on. This is gonna take you some time, six, 12, 18 months. Stick at it, don't be over ambitious, but just keep plodding on. 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, something like that. You can do more if you want to, but don't push yourself too hard because if you do, you might just end up giving up. So it's quite handy because I can use the um, little flip out screen on this camera, which you can't see, but I can, as a mirror. And it's quite useful when tying the bow tie, which I had to tie a few times when I was recording this first bit, or when I was preparing to record it anyway. How's that guy looking? Let me see. Does that look good enough? It'll do, won't it, I suppose? Hold on a second. Mm, what do you reckon? We could do a thing a little bit tighter. It's quite small, this screen, so I can't see how big the nut is. Ah, there we are. Okay, yeah, that'll do. What do we think? Nice. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.